Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and here we're going to look at an example of price elasticity of demand. We're going to look at a particular good, or service really, I guess, and we're going to try and work out, is it relatively price elastic or inelastic? If those terms are confusing to you, if you're not sure what they mean, no problem. Links will be in the description to videos that will give you that intro understanding of the price elasticity of demand. Just losing, losing my notes here. Let's look at hotel accommodation. Let's look at hotel rooms and try and determine whether demand is relatively elastic or inelastic. In terms of this example, it's coming from the market economy textbook, which I highly recommend. We're trying to think if the cost, so the price of hotel accommodation goes up, what would likely happen to quantity demand? Would it fall? So would it be relatively elastic? That as price goes up, total revenue would fall. Or would it be relatively inelastic? So as price goes up, people will still get those rooms and total revenue could rise. If we think about hotel rooms, there are so many substitutes for hotel accommodation. Even within the hotel accommodation market, there is luxury, there are three-star hotels, there are motels, there are all sorts of different types of paid accommodation in that hotel space. So if the cost of one type of hotel room goes up, you could just go to another one that would be, well, close enough. So the presence of so many substitutes means that um, the price elasticity of demand could be relatively elastic. If we also think about it, there is a major competitor to hotel rooms in Airbnb. So you don't even have to use a hotel if you wanna stay somewhere, you can stay at someone's place. So again, if the price of hotel rooms goes up, no problems, you'll just Airbnb it. And so the price elasticity of demand for hotel rooms would be relatively elastic. I think there would be one exception in this discussion, and that is very much around luxury hotel rooms. So five-star hotels like the Palazzo Versace on the Gold Coast, that even if the cost of these hotel rooms go up, because the luxury component is such a strong reason why you stay there, price elasticity of demand could be relatively inelastic. So even if the price goes up, actually maybe more people wanna stay there because it becomes even more luxurious. I don't know, but it's a possibility. So we can see here that hotel accommodation can be relatively elastic and relatively inelastic, depending on what type of accommodation we're actually talking about. Okay, so hopefully this was useful, likes if it was, um, and I will see you in the next video.